Hello everybody, and welcome back to Case Animatronics. My name is Marlo Fighter, and you may know that I've played this before in the past and never got to completing it. But I've learned a secret strategy. Well, it's not that secret, it's basically you know, it doesn't get scary if you know that the animatronics are going to kill you or something, so. Let's just get started. New game, don't forget to wear headphones. Morning, blah, 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 Oh, and warning to those of you who watch me that wears earphones. Yeah, you might want to... Want to, um, well... Turn your volume down because... The jump scares in this game can be ear shattering and punishing. And also because of my loud mo voice. Because my loud mouth is gonna freaking. Oh, sensitivity. One second. What? Okay. There's two difficulties for this. So. I'm going to save that difficulty stuff for another time, maybe try on a hardcore mode another time, but let's just play it on easy for now. Okay guys, let's get started. Now I heard that headphones, you know... This isn't cheating, it's just breaking the system. Now this is much better. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. I think I'm about to think about getting the wrong room. Did anything change? This game seems a lot more smoother than last time, and... Of course that door's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm turning it down. Because of that. You know, for you guys' sakes. For you guys' sake. But anyway, let's let's get back into the freaking things, okay? What a night for a dream! It's midnight already. Time to head home. I've seen this opening up a billion times. I already know what the hell happens. Serious. Hello, Bishop. Marvelous night, isn't it? I'm sure you don't remember me. It's been a lot. These subtitles, um, guys, if you are um, deaf or something, I'm sorry. These subtitles are 
are not matching the audio, the real talked words, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't want the tablet's battery to go down. Okay, now there, there are some notes hidden throughout the area. I'm gonna find them all and, you know, go through them, but for now, let's get through this. Like this one. Since there's nothing chasing me, I propose to Emma. I'll remember this day for the rest of my life. The start of a great summer, and the launch of mobile animatronics that can even bring pizzas to kids. Sounds like FNAF 2, huh? Plus, I added a remote control system for emergencies, just in case something goes wrong. I found some spare parts from a suit from one of the old animatronics. They were a bit rusty, but still work. And I even modernized them a bit. Now the most important thing is to protect the children. I have a couple of ideas, but I think the authorities will refuse to... to... to cooperate. One second, I have to go and do something. <sighs> Uh, need some air. Okay. Still, it's worth a shot. We also started getting offers from other... from other organizations that want access to my animatronic schematics. But I declined them all, because I'm under contract. Okay, so this guy made the animatronics. And know that date. June 1987. We know some something that happens in 1987. Right, you know that the fight of '87 happens in 1987 in FNAF. Does this have like some sort of connection to it? I have no idea. Another one. According to the doctor, John Bishop, that's us, the police officer, tried to visit the hospital ward of the injured Scott. Mm, maybe they they. May. The creator of the game might, must have been inspired by Scott Cawthon, cause. And he probably put Scott's name in here because he wanted to, to you know, include him in the game. So he recently emerged from his coma and is barely clinging onto his life. Any trauma can cause heart failure or permanent damage to, to the nervous system. Right now, the most important thing to, is the most important thing is to stabilize the victim. He didn't even remember what happened, commented the head doctor of University Hospital. It was later revealed that John Bishop then entered the ward at night and demanded answers from Scott. According to the witnesses, John was trying to figure out what the hell happened the night of the crime. Sam Scott refused to answer his questions or even speak to the police officer. According to doctors, when, the, when security was forcefully removing the police officer from the hospital, he shouted, I'll be back. The hospital is planning to sue and demand for the dismissal of said police officer. So, we had some problem, and I'm guessing that this Mr. Scott is the guy who's, you know, sending these animatronics to... Man, how many of these are there? Oh, and, um, okay. 4268. Okay, I need, to know. I need to remember that. Halloween is tomorrow, and I don't have a costume. Maybe I'll be a hot dog and go around trick-or-treating. Ha ha, but still, that exhibit haunts me to this day. I can't believe she talked to me. All these people were passing by, laughing at my painting, and shouting I was a child. Yeah, I thought it would be better to die right then and there. But then she came over. She stared at my painting and said, Ah, those are the animatronics from that pizza place I visited with my parents when I was a kid. Very cool. That's how me and Emma started talking. So Emma is probably our girlfriend, wife, or... Oh yeah, hiding place, my bad. <laughs> I forgot that we had hiding places in this game. Okay, anything down? Oh, I see another one. The victim, DJ Scott, woke up 
after two months in a coma at State University Hospital as a result of the incident that occurred in his house where a gunman broke in and threatened the young family, escaping unapprehended shortly thereafter. The police officer involved in the event underwent psychological evaluation and according to the doctors, the entire situation had a severe emotional impact on a young officer. The criminal was deemed a professional as he seems to have crushed the police officer's psyche. The criminal was probably a pro. This is the first time I've ever seen a vi victim in this type of dead state, said the chief psychoneurologist at the hospital. Okay, so this guy, DJ S Scott, this isn't the Sam Scott that we that it talked about earlier. This is a different Scott. You have something for me? Eight eight seven six. Thank you. Okay, and is it gonna jump scare me? They still have that. Yep, they still have that built-in jump scare. Okay, is there anything else around here that I need to look at? I see something. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is why you don't get a. I think it was six six seven eight or something eight eight seven six. Yep, eight eight seven six. Eight eight seven. No, eight eight seven six. Okay, any secrets? Any secrets? I want to see any secrets. Come on, come on. I want to see secrets. There's one. The head of our class gave us a task. Everyone must draw an unusual object or character for Halloween. She said she really wants our group to stand out in some upcoming exhibit. I immediately remembered those animatronics from the pizzeria and drew them. They were far from usual. No kidding. But yeah, that's what inter is interesting about this game. There's some s deeper story happening in the, you know. Yeah, dude, you better run. Well, remember. Like it? It loves, loves to play. Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. Why the hell isn't my character saying anything? Why isn't he saying like, oh, was that an animatronic? Is it going to kill me? Oh my god, I better hide. La, 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 la. The, the game creators missed a perfect opportunity to give her character a voice here.
Okay. I can't hear the animatronic, so I'm gonna... Oh crap. Okay, come on, come on. That was pretty ear shattering for me. Okay, okay, he's just gonna walk on by and walk on out, and I'm gonna take the opportunity when he... Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I have to... It's an urge to just, you know, quiet down when he's near, but... I just... Uh, ooh. Come on, just go. He's just camping there. Oh, he just decided to have like another go. Oh, oh. Stuffy's not right about this locker room. I saw something wrong. Hmm, maybe if I just take another look inside of it. Oh, hmm, is there anything in here? Anybody want to want to escape? Because I'll eat your brains out. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. Okay. Okay, so here's another paper. I'm going to pause to read it. No. Okay, I can't read it.
Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> and guys, sorry, but I'm gonna have to stop it right here. We're back to the point where we were, so yeah. And we've uncovered some of the secret hidden story behind all this. So yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be, be sure to like and subscribe for more and don't forget to come back for the next episode. Bye!